Hi everyone, welcome back to The Natural Mediterranean. My name is Alexandra and today I'm going to be discussing how to sew a facing. A facing, if you don't know what that is, it is usually placed around the neckline or the armhole of a garment and it's just to finish the outside edge and make it a bit more sturdy. So you can see the caftan here I have with a neck facing sewn in. So I'll turn this inside out so you can see the full facing. So here's what the facing looks like. This is the front and this is the back. What makes the facing different than the outside of your garment is that it has fusible interfacing um, or a stabilizer on the back side of it to give it a little bit more heft. You can also see that it has a stitch right on the edge. That's called under stitching, and I'll get to that later. It helps the facing stay towards the inside of the garment instead of rolling towards the outside. So this is a very important step when you install a facing into any garment is to under stitch your facing. I'm going to sew my front and back facing together at half an inch seam allowance on the top edges here where the shoulder seam is. Now we just want to go over the raw edge of our facing. Now I'm going to pin the facing around the neckline. We'll put right sides together. And the first thing we wanna do is take a look at the point here and match it with the point on our facing. So just make sure your point is at the point. I like to push my shoulder seams back towards the back and then the facing is open. So when your neckline is cut on the bias like our V is, you may find a lot of difference between your body front neckline and your facing neckline. That's because we've fused and enforced our facing neckline, but not the body neckline. So what you can do is just try to work it in and massage it back into shape. On the other hand, you can run a basting stitch at a very long stitch length along the front neckline to secure that after you cut it out of your fabric. We'll sew with the body facing downward. So the feed dogs on the machine, your little um, serrated moving parts can suck the larger fabric in and get, almost gather it to match the original facing measurement. Now we're going to do what's called understitching. Understitching is when you stitch down this seam allowance to your facing from the top of your facing. So push the seam allowance to your facing and we're just going to stitch all around the neckline on top of the facing. You might need to put extra slits in so that it lays flat. Now our facing is nice and understitched. You can see the stitch here. 
so that it will lay on the inside better. Now I'm just going to do a couple more things to secure the facing. We're gonna stitch down on the shoulder seam here. So here's a close-up of the facing sewn into the garment. You can see that we have understitching. So this line here is the understitching. And if I turn this up, you can tell this is the facing because I have a fusible interfacing on the facing piece. You can see the original seam line the understitching seam line that secures the seam allowance portion to the facing to help it stay on the inside of the garment. And that's all for sewing the facing. Make sure you like and subscribe below and check back each week for more sewing tutorials, tips, and tricks.